What's going on guys? It's Dan here and welcome to the game unboxing for November 5th. Today is Call of Duty Ghosts and I just have the standard edition here with a nothing special. I'm just gonna show you really quick and hop right into it because it is late and I do want to go to bed. So <laughs> anyways, just got back from the midnight launch and um, yeah, so there really isn't much in this. There is one thing that you get just for getting the game. I don't know if it's day one or if it's a pre-order thing. I don't know, but regardless, I'll just showcase it first. You know, before we get into that, I'll just open this up. Got a little poster just for being at the midnight launch. Probably nothing I'll ever use. Probably it'll just be thrown somewhere that will then it'll never see the light of day again. Uh, I haven't actually looked at it. Uh, sorry, it's kind of difficult to show, but you got. Yes, really tiny poster, not, not much you can do with it. Anyway, just rumpling that up. Okay, there we go. And let's just open it up and see what we got inside. Nothing, obviously, I've already looked through it, nothing special. So you got right off the bat, you have an ad for the Seasons Pass, which if you love your Call of Duty, I recommend you get. You might as well, you'll get all the map packs and it'll be at a reduced rate as well. I am definitely not gonna bother because the map packs are map packs. They don't give me a reason to really purchase anything else. I think map packs are just the same shit and you're paying up the ass. You're paying like 20 bucks per map pack and you get like three maps at best. So they make a shit ton of money because all these, all these people throw away their, I don't know. I just think it's stupid. It makes no sense. We also have an ad on the back for Destiny, which is going to, which is another Bungie game. Um, why is that here? Oh, Activision, right. Activision was one of the publishers, that's why. So that's that. And underneath that, we have a free... F Wait, okay, this is a bit of... This is two things, actually. You get a free fall map, which is one of the, a free map, so that's one of the only things you get, and a seven-day Xbox Live Gold trial. Won't be using the seven-day trial, but I'll definitely be redeeming the map. Although the last time there was a Call of Duty game and everyone got a free map, there was some kerfuffle about it, and no one got it until, like a month or two when the game came out. It was really weird and it made no sense, but there you go, that's that. So free fall map pack, or if it's just one map, I don't know. And then you have your two discs. Yes, I got it on 360, please. I don't want to hear it, but <laughs> I did. You have an install disc and you have a regular play disc. So obviously I'll have to install that first. Kind of annoying, but it's my fault. I got it on. P, or sorry, Xbox 360, but all games are going to be switching, they're all going to be one disc, but they're all going to have mandatory installs anyway, so who's going to really care? It's all going to be installed, this and that, so the fact that there's two discs, there is nothing new here, so anyway, let's take a look at what it says here on the back, uh, da, 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 da. change world, Re redefine multiplayer, not really, all they've really done is um, had maps that are, are like... Uh, what do you call it? Dynamic maps. So basically things change, like events unfold. So a rock slider will occur. If there's a guy at the bottom of like this hill, you can shoot out tree logs that are tied up and it'll roll, roll, roll down the hill and run them over, that kind of stuff. Uh, so they're interactive. That's a good way to put it. So obviously the bonus map is included. Uh, the campaign will probably, oh, oh, are these dudes in space? Oh my God, these guys are in space. Holy crap, that's going to be insane. That'll be cool. Um, now, I don't, I know for a fact the campaign is going to be short, probably no longer than four and a half, five hours. That's always the case with a Call of Duty game. Any FPS game in general, really. So, uh, but the thing is, they are action packed, so a lot of shit goes down. So it, it, it's exciting, but at the same time, it's really short lived, and you don't feel like you get your money's worth until you play for the multiplayer. That's the whole point of these games, is multiplayer with a little. Uh, campaign that's just done later you know what I mean their main focus is always the multiplayer so nothing special I'm not I'll probably never ever get another I will never get a, a collector's edition or limited edition version of a Call of Duty game because they pump out the same bullshit every year so if I sound a little bit you know unenthusiastic I have my reasons <laughs> and I mean I basically miss the old days of Call of Duty when it was World War II based that was when it was a lot of fun for me and like even when they put Modern Warfare, it was a different change, but they got carried away with it. You know what I mean? They they it's just this I don't know, okay? That that's just my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people disagree, but we're regardless gonna do Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm gonna get to it right away here. So I gotta do that mandatory install, and then we're gonna I'm gonna start with some gameplay. Start with the campaign, of course. 
and then come back to the multiplayer when I'm done with it. So it shouldn't be too, too long, like I said, but we'll find out soon. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and favorite it as well. And we'll see some gameplay as soon as I can. I'll get it up as, as quickly as possible. So thanks, guys. Take it easy, and we'll see you in-game.